All right, guys. Uh, I'm sorry that it took this long to uh, record this video. I had everything scripted and everything, but my editing program wasn't working. I wasn't able to hear audio. It's fixed now. I don't know how it fixed, but all of a sudden it fixed itself. So let's get right into the video. So Game Vice is suing Nintendo because the Nintendo Switch is too similar to Game Vice's Wikipad, and the Nintendo Switch's design infringes on their patent of a computing device and game controller with flexible bridge section. Which is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard because the Nintendo Switch has two separate controllers that can act as one, unlike the Wikipad and their phone accessories, and they also don't have a flexible bridge. So the main description of the patent is already completely different from the Joy-Cons and the Nintendo Switch. To make matters even worse, GameVice is asking the court to halt production and sales of the Nintendo Switch and to award it damages the Nintendo Switch has caused from being too close to the Wikipad. But they've discontinued the Wikipad, so how are they claiming that Nintendo caused damages when they don't even sell them? That doesn't make sense to me. If anything, the Nintendo Switch has helped them sell more units because they are tweeting using the Switch hashtag in order to attract a larger audience to advertise their products to. Also, if GameVice is going to sue Nintendo because the Switch looks too much like their product, then I don't see why Microsoft doesn't sue GameVice, because the Wikipad has the same button layout with the same letters and colors on it, and one of their marketing points is that it feels like an Xbox controller. Our controller feels just like an Xbox or PS3 controller. Same exact buttons, left and right triggers, two bumpers, D-pad, twin joysticks, it's super light, and just makes holding a tablet a lot easier. Also, if we want to go by who did something first, then Atari might as well just sue everybody, because they were the first to have an analog stick, right? Like, the Wikipad looks like Kirby just walked up to a Wii U, sucked it up, and then BAM! Now he's a wikipad. I really don't think GameVice is going to win this lawsuit, but if by any chance they do win, I have absolutely no idea what Nintendo is going to do, or going to be able to do, because after the Wii U's failure, we can assume Nintendo has lost quite a bit of money, and is going to lose even more money from not being able to sell the Switch, and having to award GameVice damages. But Nintendo has some really good lawyers and barely have a case against themselves, so I think they'll be good. I just hope that Nintendo is able to countersue GameVice for legal fees for having to go through all of this trouble, because it's ridiculous.